Oh, freaking good morning, chaps. Welcome along to the vlog. So, we're in the pub this morning because we're actually waiting for uh, a guy from the electric board to come and have a look at the meter. So the meter that we've got in the cellar is uh, old, well it's not top old, it's digital, but I don't know, I can't read it and uh, nobody at Empower can read it either. I've sent them photos, they don't know what they're doing, they don't know their arse from their elbow frankly, but this chap who's coming out today, he's going to read it, tell me how to read it and fail that, change the goddamn thing. And then as soon as that's complete, me and Stuart are going down to Peterborough and we're going to pick up some proper scaffolding. Not the tube clamp stuff that we used yesterday, but some proper scaffolding that is used to scaffold round houses. And uh, we're going to actually change out what we put in yesterday and then go ahead and replace it with all of the proper stuff and then use yesterday's scaffolding for the first part like off the beer garden step down onto the proper scaffolding so we'll use that scaffolding that we've got for the step down section i think it'll be a little bit more safer it'll be thicker steel or whatever it's made from i think it's steel galvanized steel um so it'll last longer in the water the marina used scaffolding poles just down the way there to uh, for all their moorings, they're all scaffolding poles, so if I try and copy or emulate what they're doing, I won't go too far wrong. But yesterday it was really quite difficult for me to put that jetty out there at the position I wanted it, because I was obviously one man trying to put all these poles together. Uh, so now I've got that one in place, I can use that as a deck to stand on while I put the other one exactly where I want it. So this should be an improved version um, and actually fully complete. So we just need a few scaffolding boards as well, but once we've got those sorted, I think by the weekend that job will be put to bed and we can move on to something else. What are we going to move on to, you might ask? Well, I don't really know yet, but I do have uh, the cold room to complete. I have all the bedding plants and what have you to complete and uh, the new tanks to start work on. Oh it looks grand as well, I'm just looking out the window at it. Check that out, hey? It looks the business, doesn't it? What a view folks, what a view. Well that was an experience. So we've had the meter man come in. He can't read the meter, he's never seen anything like it before. He's looking for three numbers off the meter and the meter's displaying 12 different numbers. So he rings his gaffer up and then he starts telling lies to his gaffer down phone. So he's like saying, oh yeah, this place has been shut for years. You know, nobody's been in here. I've never seen a meter like it in 16 years and we're working in trade. Uh, we need to get a specials team down to have a look at it. Because this place is, it's only, it's a brand new pub, it's just opened up, it's been closed for years. And I'm like, well no, it was an Indian restaurant and a Turkish restaurant before we moved in, mate. You know, people have uh, been in here. People have been renting the building and using electric. I thought, what's he lying for? Anyway, uh, I'll show you the meter. I don't know if I've shown you it. That's just completely pickled my noodle, that has. And then he's got, oh, I've got to shoot off, I've got a Chesterfield. So let's see how this plays out, this scenario, because I have a funny feeling it's gonna come back and bite us a little bit, this one. And uh, if it does, then he's getting up in front of firing squad, not me. Can't believe he just stood there and lied. Right, this meter, shoot in here. Oh, it's a bit dark, boys. Right, so it's this piece of kit on the wall. Look at that. So you just push this button and it kind of scrolls through all these codes, look. And none of these codes are what he's looking for. Dozens of them. And this one's unused. That one, error, credit, unused. 
used. Don't know what he's doing, does he? So yeah, who knows? Anyway, we're off to get the scaffolding now that that situation's finished. What are they? Oh, they look like some off the shooting range, don't they? Did you see it, that brick built thing? No? No. There's one on the corner down here, I think. It's the fence. Is it the Lincolnshire fence? It's pretty flat out here. So we've loaded up. We've got about 300 foot worth of scaffolding and boards on the back of the van. Tons of clips. The dude was all right. We'd come back here again, although it is a bit of a drive. So we've just got to drive back up to Retford now via Grantham to pick up a couple of empty casks from Beerheads. And we have scaffolding. Well there it all is, on the floor, we've got everything we need I think and I've started to take a couple of pieces out to the jetty now, to the mooring and start doing it but, well, we've just driven through this weather on the way back from Grantham and it looks like it's finally followed us into town so I don't think I really want to be outside in this freaking rain, the day's getting on, the day's getting on. It's approaching three o'clock already, so if I can't work outside, I'm going to have to find a small project to do in here, otherwise it's going to be a brief vlog. Well, I'm kind of sorry boys, it's been one of them. This is what we've got at the moment. Oh, we've just got, just got a little break in the rain. Maybe enough for me to show you what I've done. It's almost the same as yesterday though. I basically just changed out that thin key clamp stuff. It looks bright on the camera, trust me, it's dark. Changed that key clamp stuff out for the proper scaffolding that we picked up today. This is it. Now I think that looks a little bit more sturdy, a little bit safer. And I've got it in the right position this time before it was a little bit too far out into the canal. So now we've brought it back a touch probably get another board in there and then we'll come up and across and in for this section here and then you can see it kind of meets meets the patio so we're tied in there we're tied in with that pole down there and then this end I will tie in to that steel work there it's like a steel great uh, gate thing there we'll tie in there so we're going to extend from this edge across another 13 foot essentially, another board width. Right, it does really look bright, but uh, this is without help from the camera. How's that? I'll turn the light back up for me. So that's it, I'm going to wrap it up. I'm not going to be able to do much more for you today. And of course, uh, it's late and I want to go home and get a shower. I've been working in the rain for the past hour or hour and a half and I'll probably end up getting a cold from it so uh, I think I'd just better wrap it up boys and girls and shoot back homewards. Gemma's going to come and pick me up because she's got the car. Um, uh, shows you the light outside doesn't it? So uh, the hats, we have hats um, on order. Lots and lots of them. I think we've done something like 25 already but I did up the order to 50 so we should be good we should be good we should have enough um, I can always order more if we run out so I'm going to keep that page live and also a big big thanks to everybody who's donated you can donate uh, to the channel now support the channel via PayPal instead of using the Patreon platform the PayPal support is a one-off payment Patreon they'll charge you, they'll bill you every month and that all goes uh, towards helping me make videos on a daily basis for your entertainment because uh, 
it does take time and money to do all of this I'm obviously taking time out of my work day to pick up the camera and talk to you I don't need to teach granny to suck eggs you know the crack folks so a fair exchange is no robbery as they say and on that note we'll wrap it up and I'll see you tomorrow for another vlog hopefully we'll get a little bit more work in I like to love you every day I'd like to love you, love you, love you. I'd like to love you, love you, if I may. If I may.